Yes. So hello everyone. So this is the first question based on the transient concept from gate electronics. And here it is given that the switch was closed for a long time. This was closed, and if it is opened at t is equal to zero, the maximum magnitude of the voltage vr across this chrome resistor is so at zero minus it is given that the switch was closed and this is a fast steady state so inductor is simply replaced by short circuit here and the circuit will look like this this is a spool and you know, this is the this is one ohm and this is two ohm and inductor is replaced by short circuit and the current flowing across this inductor is IL zero minus, which is obviously flowing across this resistor because the drop of this resistor to ohm is zero volt, and this voltage is nothing but the VR zero minus, which is zero volt. So VR zero minus is zero volt, and IL zero minus is two divided by one, that is two ampere. So these are the initial values, and for e greater than zero, the circuit is simply the RL network because this part is disconnected because due to this switch is open so this is the circuit for t greater than zero this is the two ohm and this is the inductor so this is a discharging network as we can see clearly see and there is no need to draw the circuit at infinite because higher infinite will be simply the inductor will be simply short circuit so higher infinite is zero ampere and for this reason we are infinite will also be zero volt so the initial value of vr in zero minus is zero volt final value of vr is zero volt so basically there is only one time instant left at which this value of the voltage vr will be maximum and that time instant is nothing but t equal to zero plus why so because this is the discharging network and here the current ka equation over this will be discharge current across the inductor will be simply discharging from its initial value this is the initial value and this is nothing but the maximum value of this inductor current and you see that across this is a discharge over over so all the waveform like this this is the i n of t which is the of this one this is the two ampere of this according to this there is a Discharge with the other, I said, I get infinite, but it will be zero ampere. But the voltage waveform of this VRT will be like this, it will be having a maximum value here, something, or it will be negative. Why negative? Because you have put the polarity is given like this plus minus and the current flowing across this inductor is entering in the negative terminal right so that's why it will it will be having a maximum value or this value is nothing but the vr zero plus which is the maximum value of vr that we have to calculate and we have per vr infinite will be simply saturated to zero volt here vr zero minus is also zero volt so inductor holds the current IL zero minus is equals to IL zero plus, which is equal to two ampere. But resistor does not holds the voltage. That's why there is a sudden change in the VR at zero plus. At zero minus it was zero volt, and just at the zero plus it is suddenly changed to this value, which is the VR zero plus. And this is the discontinuity. So yeah, when we draw the circuit. T is equal to zero plus the inductor is replaced by its initial current source that is two ampere. So the circuit will be like this two ohm and you have put this there is a two ampere circuit drive and you have now this is the voltage which is VR zero plus and the current is as you can see is going in this direction two ampere. So VR zero plus is simply minus of four volt, but we have to give the answer in the magnitude. So its magnitude will be four volt. So this is the answer, and here it is following this equation minus four. It is this is the value minus four. It is to power minus of t divided by ten function, and it is following the equation two. It is to power minus t divided by ten function. This is the transient equation. Where of t will be 
of this form we are zero plus e raised to the power minus of t divided by ten cos and discharging equation and ilt will be il zero plus e raised to the power minus of t divided by ten cos. So this answer is four volt. So this was the first question. Now this is the second question based on the transient concept and here it is given that the switch S1 was closed and S2 was open initially and at t is equal to 0 the switching positions are reversed S1 is open now and S2 is closed and the value of IC is 0 plus so again we have to draw the circuit at t is equal to 0 plus for, but for drawing the circuit at t is equal to 0 plus we need require the initial value of the voltage of this capacitor and the initial current of this inductor so for finding these values first we draw the circuit at zero minus so s1 is closed and s2 is open and it is a past steady state capacitor will be simply open circuit and inductor will be simply short circuit so the circuit will be like this this is the one ampere and hopper inductor will be simply open circuit and the voltage across this inductor is vc zero minus initial voltage of the sorry capacitor and no s2 is open so there is no need to draw like this open circuit we can simply remove it and read on and this is the short circuit and the current flowing across this inductor is il zero minus and this is the 25 ohm now this is the if you want to calculate first vc0 minus and after il0 minus so we can go with this one also so if we want to calculate first vc0 minus so simply by applying kcl at vc0 minus this current is incoming minus 1 plus vc0 minus divided by 100 and plus of vc0 minus divided by 25 that is equal to 0 this one will go here and lcm is 100 and vc0 minus plus 25 4 into vc0 minus this is 5 vc0 minus and this is 1 so vc0 minus here is simply 100 by 5 that is 20 volt and according to this il0 minus is vc0 minus divided by 100 which is 0.2 and so these are the initial values now we can calculate first now we can calculate the il0 minus by the current division rule also this these two resistors are in parallel so we can go with the current division rule also so il0 minus is in current division rule opposite resistor is multiplied so the opposite resistor is 25 so 25 upon 100 plus 25 that is 125 so 25 upon 125 into 1 so it is 1 by 5 that is 0.2 ampere so il0 minus is 0.2 ampere and according to that vc0 minus is 100 into 0.2 that is 20 volt so these are the initial values now we have to draw the circuit at t is equal to 0 plus and the switching conditions are changed s1 is opened and s2 is closed so this part will be removed s1 is open and s2 is closed so this part will be simply removed and only we have to run s2 is closed now so this 100 volt will be short circuit because this is the short circuit now s1 s2 is closed so 100 volt will across this 100 volt it will be zero volt so it will be simply short circuited so yahan par ye replace hoga is tarah se 20 volt se and yahan par 100 volt is short circuit so we can draw at this and inductor is replaced by the current so it is 0.2 ampere and here it is 25 volt Now this voltage across this 25 ohm is simply 20 volt because all the branches are parallel. So the current flowing across this is 0.8 ampere, 20 divided by 25, and this current is nothing but the IC zero plus. So we can simply apply KCL at this node. All the currents are outgoing. So by KCL, IC zero plus plus 0.2 plus 0.8. So IC zero plus plus of one. That is equal to zero. So I C zero plus is simply minus one ampere. So this is the answer. So this was the second question. Now this is the third question from gate instrumentation. 
branch based on the transient concept and here it is given that these values are given 10 clone and 1 milli henry is excited by a step current this is the step current means the source current is the step current i naught right this is the i with respect of time and at t0 minus the current il is equal to i naught by 5 so it is given il0 minus is given which is equals to il of 0 plus which is equals to you know, this is i naught by 5 the minimum time for the current through the inductor to reach 99% of the final value final value is i infinite final value is the il of infinite so at at, at the time instant it is 99% of final value means 0.99 of il infinite that time instant we have to calculate at the at which the current is 0 0.99 times of il infinite so so the current equation transient equation of inductor current it is il infinite plus il zero plus minus of il infinite and exponential raised to power minus of t divided by time constant now when we draw the circuit at this is the circuit given it, it this is nothing but the t greater than zero for the circuit t greater than zero and when we draw the circuit at t greater than equal to in, uh, t tending to infinite means this one so inductor will be simply short circuited and the circuit will be i naught and r and after inductor will be simply short circuited right? this one so when it is short circuited this drop will be zero volt and whole current is flowing across this inductor which is i infinite it is equals to this source current that is i naught so the equation will be like this i naught plus i l zero plus is i naught by five minus of i naught and exponential raised to power minus of t divided by time constant and this i l t is 0.99 times of i l infinite to, because we have to get rid this time instant so we have to substitute this value that is like this 0.99 i naught and time constant of a series uh, of an rl network it is a parallel rl network so time constant is of a rl network is simply l by r because here is only one resistor and one inductor so l value is 10 raised to power minus 3 and yeah, but this is the 10 kilo ohm so 10 raised to power 4 it will be simply 10 raised to power minus of 7 which we can write like this 0.1 microsecond this is the time constant so now the equation will be 0.99 i know that is equals to i know plus this i naught by 5 minus of i naught which is i naught minus 5 i naught which is minus 4 i naught so it will be minus 4 i naught divided by 5 and exponential raised power minus t divided by 1 to 1 so it is 4 i naught by 5 is equal to 4 i naught by 5 into e raised to power minus of t divided by 0.1 is equal to i naught minus 0.99 i naught which is 0.01 i naught or it will be simply cancelled out and e raised to power minus of t divided by 0.1 is 0 0.05 divided by 4 this value is 0 0.0125 now taking logger both sides so this power will come in the numerator so minus t divided by 0.1 is equals to ln of 0 0.0125 and this value is this value is four point minus of four point three eight two. Right now this negative negative side cancel and t will be point four three eight two microsecond. So this is the answer of this question. And we have to give the answer in two decimal places. So 0.43 so this is the answer so this these are the questions based on the transient concept from gate paper so okay thank you